It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've just come back from Aldi where I picked up some wonderful flavoured peanuts, fully loaded peanuts that I've just reviewed. Check out the review if you so wish. Um, the peanuts were terrific. They were £1.29 a pack for 200 grams of peanuts. But I also picked up some other snacks. Now you all know on the channel that I love to drink lots of beer. Part and parcel of the channel. And when I like to drink a lot of beer, I like to eat a lot of snacks with my beer. So I'm always on the lookout for snacks. So as well as the peanuts, check out the peanut review. I picked up some Aldi Snack Right Nibbly Nobblies, which are 89 pence a pack. The receipt here, 89 pence a pack. They're new. They're of course the answer to knickknacks. They're even the same flavours, aren't they? Saucy and spicy. How Aldi get away with this, I don't know. I don't know how they get away with it, but they do. Even got the same colour on the bags. I mean, wow. They push it, don't they? And then we got some snack like barbecue beef potato hoops, called hoops. Of course, these are barbecue beef hula hoops. Aldi's version and these are one pound nine pence for 150 grams. The Nibbly Nobblies are 80 grams a bag. So I'm going to start off with the Snack White Hoops barbecue beef. Oh my goodness me, these look exactly the same. I was expecting it to be like those kind of big hoop things, but they're not. They're actual, because Aldi do have big hoops. They're like Monster Munch type hoop things. But these, these look like barbecue beef hula hoops, but a giant bag. Walkers will not sell you hula hoops in a giant bag like this. Aldi will. Aldi will say, come on over, come on over. Here's a look at them. Let it focus. Wow. <coughs> the potato is slightly crispier and crunchier than a hula hoop. So the texture of the hula hoop is slightly different. It's a little bit more shell-like, like if you were to put a seashell in your mouth and you can imagine it kind of crackling and banging around in your mouth. It's a bit like, but a bit more China-like, if that makes sense. Like if you were to try and eat a bone china bowl or something like that. Which you would never do, would you, of course. But other than that, wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. My goodness me. The flavour of these barbecue beef hoops are exactly, <coughs> exactly the same as Walker's hula hoops. Oh. can't stop eating them. I need the whole bag. Mm. Wow. <coughs> if you go, there you go. 150 grams of crisps.
if you were to buy a bag of six pack of walkers that would give you what are they 25 gram bags that give you 150 grams of crisps you're probably looking two pound for, for a six pack of hula hoops barbecue beef and that's the same weight as those and they're one pound nine they're nearly half the price again you gotta love aldi always i've always loved aldi i've always been a little and an aldi shopper if you remember on the channel back in 2018 2019 when i first started seriously going into the food reviews it was always little and aldi stuff before this whole cost thing become a massive thing um i was i was i was kind of in there anyway shopping there anyway i've always been a fan of the discount supermarkets i really have so i'm gonna go saucy now and bring you some nibbly nobblies snack right they're new <coughs> 80 grams 89 pence 89 pence i'm pretty sure they were yeah 89 pence there's a look at them are they the same as a knickknack well they look like a knickknack don't they and i gotta be honest with you they kind of feel and taste like a knickknack too mm. Oh yeah. Maze. I think knickknacks are called ribbon saucy, aren't they? These are just called saucy, but it's exactly the same thing. Down to the finer detail where you get smaller knickknacks and, and bigger knickknacks. They're all different kind of bits and pieces mm. but again they're really good mm. really good it's still good value for money 89 pence we only get 80, 80 grams of crisps here. Yeah. But then again, if I went around the local shop around the corner here, yeah, which is relatively cheap, they'll sell you a bag of Transformer snacks or whatever they're called, Transformer crisps. They'll sell you them for now like 70 gram bags for £1.50. So yeah, Aldi, great value for money, isn't it? <coughs> Spicy nibbly nobblies. Here we go. How spicy can these possibly be? Here's a look at them. They look, they look like miniature caveman clubs, do they? Oh, exactly, exactly the same. Oh. Oh, these are fab. Oh. They're slightly more crunchier for some reason as well. crunchier and a little bit more kind of melt in the mouth mm. but that spicy tomato flavor well it's just got into my cut 
and it's stinging. Mmm. <laughs> incredible absolutely incredible it's like a um, spicy tomato flavor not gonna blow your face off with spice but they're tasty all three of these crisps, as well as the fully loaded nuts that we reviewed, would go perfectly with beer. And that's the whole point of these videos. That's the whole point of me reviewing snacks, is because I want to know what would go well with the beer I'm drinking on that occasion. Um, the nuts are great. The crisps are great. I just love Aldi. Gotta love Aldi. Gotta love Aldi for what they offer you. Value for money. I'm gonna go least to best. I'm gonna say the least is probably the ribbon saucy at a seven. Second, beef hula hoops. Beef hoops, should I say? Eight out of ten. Them saucy, uh, them, them spicy knobbly nibblies, nibbly knobblies are fantastic. Nine out of ten. 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Absolutely wonderful. I've got an Aldi a couple of miles away from my house. I can nip there. I can buy myself some cheap snacks to go with my beer. My Aldi Rhinebacker pills and it all. Or Vice Beer. And I'm happy. Absolutely happy. I like... Oh yeah, I like all of the crisps. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.